Discovery's mission ended here, but it started on this, the massive crawler that moves the launch platform. Dan Drake drives the crawler for NASA's prime contractor. Uh, it's, a, it's the greatest feeling in the world. An engineering marvel which keeps the shuttle perfectly balanced using myriad hydraulics. But seven years ago, NASA had a problem. So the hydraulic fluid that's flowing back and forth in the hydraulic lines actually has got a tone. A tone that causes metal fatigue and grates on the human ear. It creates a vibration of the steel and that generates a noise and it's a very annoying noise because it pounds. It was pretty loud. It was actually pretty much everywhere on the crawler. You had to scream or use hand signals to actually talk to anybody. For the solution, the U.S. Space Administration came to small town Alberta, to Delburn, the manufacturing plant for a Calgary company called Noise Solutions. Its bread and butter is making noise suppression devices for the oil and mining industries. The solution it came up with is complex, but at its heart are what amount to mufflers for hydraulic fluid. We can tune in directly to that one frequency and prevent that frequency from passing through the silencer. NASA has two crawlers. One will be fitted with the silencers next year. The other has a name. It's actually termed the quiet crawler and nobody wants to use the other crawler till we get the, uh, the noise abatement put in. A source of pride for McDonald, but this project also has one great fringe benefit. To uh, be as close as, as, from what I understand, as, as close as humans are allowed during launches. The success with NASA is not a one-off thing. Noise Solutions will be working on the Constellation program that will replace the space shuttle project and send humans to the moon. Dave Sims, CBC News, Delburn, Alberta.